Morning, off on the road today, got quite a bit of driving to do. I bought something recently that I thought was really, really cool and I'll show you it in a second. It's also opened up an opportunity for me to meet a guy that I've heard about over the years but I've never met. Um, I've talked to him recently on the phone and I've been invited over there today. Um, he sounds like a real character and I think it's going to be a really, really cool, exciting day. But I'll show you what I bought, see what you think. This is my new bed. Um, believe it or not, I found this in an old reclaim yard and was quite surprised to see the quality of the paint on this. It's obviously done by someone who's a proper wagon painter. This is not an amateur job. Um, there's only four of these been made and I'm just pleased to have it I think it's a fantastic bit of kit it's painted exactly like an old wagon um, it's even got the canvas bit over the top here detail on the back of the headboard it's even got side rails on it like a wagon which is mental um, yeah really pleased with this really unusual bit and i'm a real pleasure to meet the guy who painted it so i'm at this man's today who painted my bed and i'll show you some of his other work this is some of the clocks he's been doing really beautiful work and there's a couple of little wagons i'll show you as well outside which are really really pretty I'll show you this little drinks cabinet and you see the similarities between this and my bed. It's a really pretty little thing. Hand built as well and then painted. So quite sensibly the man doesn't want to be on camera which you can understand. So I'll just show you some examples of his work. There's a couple of beautiful little wagons here. This is a little square lot. The man himself has actually made this and painted it. And again, you can see these scrolls on here and these here are very similar to my, my bed. Inside's really nice. It's a dear little wagon. It's only about eight foot long, this is really pretty really nice done but to build them and paint them as something else right this is another little beautiful very small little bow top just saying to the man this is very unusual in a brown um, but it really works quite like that steps are nice that door panels beautiful I'll show you inside little queenie in there it's like a little miniature but done really really pretty Ruth's lovely even a little stool to sit on again you can see the running themes with the fruit on here same as the bed So we're going to call that a wrap on that one. Uh, there's a lot today I couldn't get on camera and I'm hoping I can go back and and do an interview with the guy because he's a very, very interesting bloke and a very unusual background to how he got into the, the painting. But hopefully there's been some bits on there of, of interest. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.